Yeah. 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 There's, there's some information. Yeah, definitely. What was your name? Rodney. Rodney. Yeah. Rodney. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I think we're live. Are we live? I think so. I'll have a, I'll have a okay. All right. Take care. Nice meeting Bye. you. Bye, guys. Thank you. Have a good night. So we know where you are. Relax. Yeah. Sound a little threatening. <laughs> so we know where you are. Mic check one, two. I'll be live. We're here in the Battle Light Gallery. My project's still loading. All right, we're I think live. we're good. We're live. Sick. Tell me if you're getting audio real quick. We're live right now? I think so. Mic check one, two. Yep. Take care. Bye, guys. Damn, we've been live. Yep, we've been live. We've been live. All right, guys, welcome. Louis, to the Louis series. here. Awesome, man. Louis. All right, we have begun. Close. So this is not the really good refresh rate then over here on the right. Well, that's just the live stream. It's a ten second delay. Oh, okay, gotcha. delay. All right, are we ready to get started here? Yep, we like to do it. Hold on one moment, guys. We're going to make a quick Facebook post. Quick post on Instagram. I'm going to dump the footage from the vlog, and we're going to get started in just a second. Oh, nice. What is up, Keem? How's it going, guys? Welcome to our live stream. We're here at Nevada Light Gallery. Nick Purcell's in Nick Purcell's in the oh, The best Instagram. photographer Both in Las up. Vegas. Oh, Nick. <laughs> you want to come on live stream for a second, Nick? Everyone say what's up to Nick. We got Nick here. Hold on one second. Nick Purcell, here we go. Nick Purcell. This guy here, thanks well, for having us today. Yep. This is his dope photos right behind us. Yep. And there's a whole bunch of really dope photos inside this yeah, gallery. We'll, the computer we'll give you guys a quick yeah, tour. Yes. Check here, this. I'll unplug you. Mike, do you want to give him the, uh, the tour? Yeah, so over here we have Nick Purcell's photo. This is up in Red Rock. This is a stitch of many images in a panorama. This is over. This is over at Red Rock as well. Mount Wilson. I think that's this is Mount Wilson, but this is just the valley. This is Justin Chasens, also the co-owner of Nevada Light Gallery. Then over here we have another really fantastic Milky Way shot that Nick has shot. This has uh, three cities in it. We have Las Vegas, Perron, and Baker. He is his pseudo name for it is Border Hopper. It's great. Um, this one was taken in uh, California. This is uh, what's it called uh, uh, which Catalina Island behind, and this is also in Red Rock too. Um, then we have a whole bunch of more digital images over here. This is a collection of mostly Nick. And he Justin. is a pretty dope photographer, pretty uh, much real dope. Real if dope. you want landscapes of really cool stuff, Nick is your boy. <laughs> Nick Purcell, Nick P. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm gonna make a quick Snapchat and let's get the ball rolling. All right. So right now we got. Indie Flair on SPD what up? photo, Louis. Yeah, thanks you guys for joining yes, us. Thanks on the for blog. joining us. We're just getting started. It's gonna be so Actually, awesome. Vlogs and live stream. <laughs> we're talking about vlogs. All right, we're live. Join us on our YouTube right page. Now. Yeah. Oh, Sick. Get the tour. Hmm? I'll post up in the uh, Dope Shots Club. If you guys are in the Dope Shots Club, check it out. Yep. And then, do you want to post it on um, your Facebook? Yeah, cool. Sure. Sweet. All right, let's get the ball rolling, guys. We're about to edit this vlog. It's about to look real sick. Yeah, so give him the backstory on the vlog. Okay. Tim was here. So our friend Tim Johnston, um, old friend from high school, you guys have probably seen him in our previous vlogs. He was in town for the week, and we made a little short three-day vlog about his adventures here. And we got to go walk on the strip. We got to go see our friend Anthony Cools, who is a hypnotist, and we got Tim hypnotized, and it was freaking hilarious. I can't wait for you guys to see this footage. And yeah, we just had really great times. It was really fun, and I'm going to make a five-minute video today. Oh, I've already edited about 50% of it, so we're going to edit the rest of the stuff today and make some final touches and answer some of your questions. Yep. And I'm sure we're going to be talking about old-school film cameras for sure. Yeah. Do you want to show them the Mamiya yeah. real quick? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we have, uh, well, this is, here, you can just hold on to this Pentax for a while. I think you guys have Pentax 35 millimeter. It's a special edition K1000. And you can find these babies anywhere. I found that's for twenty-five dollars. The only, only downside is it's dead. But I actually like it. its character. Mike always says his character. 
Then we have the Mamiya 645. Oh, look at this. It's huge. This is what you guys see Medium on Instagram format. all the time. Yeah. Ooh, shit. So that's a 45 millimeter lens on there. And then, yeah, it's a top-down waist, waist level viewfinder. So it's pretty tight. Oh, it is a really awesome camera, and it shoots a 120 film, which is a little bit different than 35. Really dope. This mm -hmm. is some old school stuff right here. What's Nick's Instagram? Nick At Nick Purcell. Yeah. All right, guys, we're making a quick Instagram and Facebook post to promote this as well. And I'm going to start importing the footage into my timeline, and then you guys can see what's going on. Does Wandering Crane have a space? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Are you you're not following Wandering Crane? If you guys aren't following Wandering Crane, it's probably the dopest Instagram on Instagram. Guys, Dope Shots Club member here. Totally love it. What up? Yes! Glad you guys are getting hella value from Dope Shots Club. We're really happy. Yes. It seriously is because of the community, because everyone is commenting on everyone else's stuff. Mm -hmm. We're all trying to uplift each other and improve each other's lives. Mm -hmm. We're all just trying to become dope filmmakers. So mm -hmm. appreciate all of the... All the content in that, guys. Thank you for posting that and just being interactive. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. We should do like a cool meetup sometime. How, yeah. how sick would that, that would be? be It'd be so fun. Yeah. Photo walks. Mm -hmm. It'd be super fun. All right. Shall we get started here? Yeah. All right, guys. Here's what I got going on here. So I got a fat vlog, and it's, it's pretty. Actually, you know what? It's about 75% done. I just had to get the ending shots today because Tim was leaving to the airport. So I'm just going to log this footage real quick and I'll show you guys how it's done. Wait. Let me know if you guys can hear the, the audio from the computer. How's it going, dude? How's it going, dude? Good. Okay, good ending shots. So we started the trip with some coffee and now we're ending the trip with some coffee. Because there's quite a bit of noise in the sound. Quite a bit of noise. Yeah. All right, let's see how I can fix this. Maybe you can make it a little bit quieter. Yeah, mm -hmm. hold on one second. I'll pour it some. Hold on one moment, guys. Audio source. SPD wants to come out to uh, hang out with us in Vegas. That'd be so cool. That'd be so sick. He's got a fat. Mm -hmm. Alright, I think, I think it should be good. I don't know why. He says that he can hear the computer audio. He can? Yep. Okay, cool. Can you hear it? You can hear us as well, right? Yeah, he can definitely hear us as well. Alright, let me get back to going here. Here we are, back to the editor. <laughs> oh, I was just talking to you. Let's do it. Started the trip with coffee. Ending the trip with coffee. <laughs> you guys see here, uh, Will got some tea today, and he peed himself because he was so excited. I was, I re it was really great tea. It was uh, rose hips and hibiscus. You just couldn't, you just couldn't handle it. Really fantastic tea. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, you going to do when it's really good like that? Be a little bit. Be a little bit. Oh, you got Snapchat. I'm editing nice. their next vlog. And it just so happens my buddies Will and Gabe are also editing their hey, next vlog. Hey, buddy Gabe. Live on from YouTube. From Player Studios. <laughs> what? <Sick. laughs> Snapchat team. Thanks for the Snapchat team. All right, we're back to the editor now. We got five people in here now. Sick. What's up, five people? What up, guys? After school special on a Saturday. After school special. <laughs> If you guys have any questions, please yep. put them in the comments. Yep, 100%. We can answer your questions today. We're going to have a lot of fun. Talk about some dope stuff. Tim and Zach in Vegas. I'll try not to spill your coffee this time, dude. Beefy all day. But yeah, there's definitely some. Tim, do you have a good time in Vegas? Tim, do you have a good time in Vegas? Fantastic time in Vegas. How are we going to see you again soon? So, it's actually probably going to be soon. In probably a couple of weeks. <laughs> Let's play right here. So, do you want to play the vlog from the beginning so they can see it? Yeah, yeah, after it, you want to like 
I was going to log this footage and then show what I have so far. Okay, cool. Yeah. Super cool. So, yeah, I'm going to let, let you guys know. So, I only, ha I only have like 20 more clips from today. So, I'm going to do that and then I'll show you guys what I have so far. And then I'm going to show you how, how, how we're going to put it at the end of the vlog. And then I'm going to wrap it all up by exporting it and show you guys how we make the teasers and all the cool stuff to launch on the internet. Sick. Okay? And we're going to drop this on Monday and I'm going to tell you guys maybe some social media strategies that we use as well. Oh, Ooh. social media tips. tips. But we're going to save those for the end. <laughs> so have you already dumped all this stuff? Um, I'm about to. Oh, I already have this. Go on, Jack, it's going to start taking BTS pics. Yes. We got the content on 100. the content. 100. Content. What are you working on today, Will? Right now, I'm going to be working on cutting together all the footy from the Vlogging Mastery course. Sick. Yeah, we're going to be teaching you guys how to make vlogs if you guys have not seen that yet. It's going to be tough. And then we should also have a Snapchat party later. Snapchat party. Vlog distant parties. I love it. Thanks, Keem. All right, guys. Let's get the ball rolling. I'm going to log the rest of this footage, and I'm going to show you guys what I have so far, and then we're going to have a lot of fun. Okay? Ask any questions in the comment box over here, and it's on me on this side. Uh, next to Mike. And you guys have questions for Mike? He's a professional too. He can answer a thing or two. He knows a thing. I might too. be able to. <laughs> Keem said that. He can for sure. Gabe's advice yesterday changed my life in editing. These guys are legit. Oh, thank you, Keem. Such an honor. Such an honor. That's so awesome. Louis asked, Do you guys use Magic Lantern? I've been looking into it for a while and it seems perfect to me, especially with the bra recording. Hey, Louis. I haven't done we all have, have things to say about it, camera. and it's only positive things. <laughs> yeah. Okay? Like, nothing is bad about Magic Lantern. If you have Magic Lantern, your production will go from, yep. like, here to here. Yep. It's just such a useful tool. Yep. has literally everything you need in there. And it's what accurate, too. Yep. You have crop marks. You have crop marks for glide cam. Yep. You have uh, focus, focus peaking, peaking. Yep. Instagram. Yep. You have time lapse features. Yep. You have your shutter <laughs> count. So many features. Like there's so many things. It's like taking your Canon camera and Louis making it, it go way well better. You. Yes. He's scared of breaking his camera. Okay. And oh, also, if you're scared about breaking a camera, we put it through how many cameras? So like many. Eight. Every nine? single one. You cannot yeah. mess it up. They, Our they buddies do. all have. It's just a disclaimer, yeah. so they're not responsible. But yeah. nothing will it's happen. It's never gonna break your camera. Yeah. Like, we've never had any incidents where we're even referred to that. Yeah. yeah. What we, camera are you using? Which one? What camera? We I use five five D Mark III and six D. Mm -hmm. And we have a seven D and two five D threes and a five D two. They all have Magic Lantern, and mm -hmm. it's, it works perfectly. Perfect. Don't even hesitate, Louis. Just yeah. grab it. Our other buddy has a seven D. He uses Magic Lantern. Yep. Other buddy, my buddy, five D Mark III, five D Mark II. Yep. He uses. Magic Everybody Lantern. has it. Everybody has. Even this guy in here, Nitro Wolf. He says that he has it on a five fifty. Uh -huh. Yeah, it works, it works perfect. perfect. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's the five fifty D is the T two I, right? Yeah. Yeah, great camera. Hi, Gabe. What? Uh, like my sister's live streaming with us. Hi, Gabe. Hi, Gabe. So cool. No, I think we just changed Louis, Louis' live. Awesome. Good. Darren and Gil said hi. Hey, Darren and Gil. <laughs> You're on a live stream. That's so cool. All right, we're going to get back to editing now. Great job, Darren, on all those killer awards. Yes, congrats on that. Keep bringing the questions on, though, guys. Yep. Love to answer. Yours. Yep. So Mike and Tim had beer and pizza today. Look at this beautiful box. <laughs> we can, we will log that. We're not sure if we'll put that in the in the vlog. Yeah, yeah you should definitely not put that in there. <laughs> okay, look at that pizza. Yeah, that pizza looks amazing. Damn. Whatever you got somewhere, Mike's advice is just get the margarita pizzas right off the bat. Yeah, margarita pizza. Really and then he adds ricotta on top. That's where all those whites. This, all this My mom's on there too. What's up, mom? Hey, mom. What up, girl? <laughs> <laughs> what? This is so cool. All right. You guys should know Debbie Good is a saint. Uh, Will's mom is amazing. Yeah. Incredible. Please have some of my fucking pizza. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Mike keeps it real on the vlogs. Mm. I have to have her cots on it, right? That's really good, Will. <laughs> oh, pizza bite. Okay. Always got a pizza bite. Anywhere, yo. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. My computer's running really smooth, and this live stream's running really, really smooth. Nice. Right? Take it. Everything's going good. It's so good. Live stream. Third, third Look, time's a charm, right? You see all the footy of the, uh, the, of the pizza? pizza? <laughs> yes. It will give you some yeah. napkins, too. Okay. <laughs> it's so good. Yes. We had to try for so many people to get her to take pizza. Yeah, we have, okay, we okay, we had one slice of pizza left because we were we had to eat in like thirty minutes. Yeah. Yeah, and we had we were just like kinda in a rush because we had to get to the airport and 
we couldn't finish it all. So we gave it away. And this is the lady we gave it to. We also gave her a beer. It was awesome. <laughs> what was it? It was grapefruit. Grapefruit. Magic. Yeah, magic hat number nine. Yeah, magic hat number nine. Yeah, we'll give you some napkins, too. I'm like hungry again, guys. Here's some, uh... You're welcome. Yeah, take the cheese. You gotta take the cheese. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. Let's drink the beer. It's really good beer. It's grapefruit. Yeah. That's yeah, like Drink the beer. All right, everyone else, smile for the behind the scenes. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> that song is so cool. <laughs> so you guys are behind the scenes while we're editing vlogs. This is how it all goes down. No issues. No issues. No issue. Photo, whatever we do. It's like, what we need to do? It's the first step of <laughs> Come here. We gotta bundle up because we're going. Oh. It's so warm. Later, Will. Look at this squat pick. <laughs> you moved the dog. I might see that. Look at squat pick. With a jump. Hold on. Hope you guys enjoyed that vlog. Here, Mike. Hold on. Hope you guys enjoyed that vlog. Tim, I hope you have a good Natural Wolf said, don't fold your pizza. I had a blast in Vegas. What's next? We have seven people watching now. Awesome. What's up, seven people? We're here at Nevada Light Gallery, downtown Las Vegas. Our friend Nick Purcell let us hang out here. And uh, he's friends with Mike, and the place is just sweet. There's yeah. some of his artwork in the background. One from Calico Basin, and then another one from where? California, right? Hmm? Where is this one from? Um, so, sorry, this one? This is in, uh, okay, this is in California, I believe, in Newport Beach. And then this one is down in Red Rock. Yeah, I, I think it's Calico. Yeah. All right. This is the last clip. Look at Mike's eating Tim's ear. There are a couple bridal shower tonight. I'm going to go surprise them. I have no idea. They think I'm in Vegas until tomorrow. What are you doing? Please subscribe. Please subscribe. I forgot I was doing that. We're going to get in the car, bro. Alright guys, stay fly safe. See you soon. Yeah, guys, stay fly safe. See you soon. Peace. 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 I was just thinking that's like too. Peace down low. Alright guys, so hey, let me give you a quick little editing synopsis. So here is the vlog. This is your timeline for anyone that isn't a video guy. Or just watching, like for Mom and Gil and Darren, this is a uh, this is about called the timeline, and this is what everyone will see. This is where your edits happen and where you make your where you add your songs and all that stuff. So this when you hit the play button, you just this little play bar goes, and your video shows up right here in the source monitor, project monitor. Okay, and then here are your bins. This is where you store all your video clips and titles and all that GoPro footage and all that good stuff. And then right here is where you do your effect controls. This is where you can adjust the volume, add any kind of adjustment, color correction, all that happens right here. So right now, you can see I have the end title for the vlog right here, already all set up. And I already have um, a song. And this little gap right here is the last part of the video. So I'm going to bring this footage and put in right here. And I'm going to do that by going like this. Since I have so many layers, I'm going to start by What's locking. Up, Nick? Hey, you want to say hi to everyone? Sure. We got new peeps on. Yeah, we got new peeps on. What's up, guys? This is our friend Nick. This is, this is Nick Purcell. Thanks again for having us today Jeez. in your studio. Super great. Light <laughs> gallery. All right. So I'm going to bring this footage in right here. Okay, so what I did was lock the third layer where the last song is so it doesn't move when I bring this footage in. And when I hold command, it'll ripple everything outward to the right. Boom. Nitro Wolf was asking how the shortcut to put the clips directly on your timeline. Oh, the shortcut. It's comma. It's comma. Yeah. Or you can use period. I think comma. Comma is the comma is the is the hotkey for that. 
All right, guys, I'm going to show you guys what I have so far for this video, and then we can get editing on the last part, and it's going to be really great. Louis says that he's in high school, and after asking around and talking to the photography teacher, it seems that no one is in the video, only photography. I want to find someone to work with and talk to. What do I do? Like, I guess, how does he connect to people in his community that are also doing video? Yeah, I think you just go out and shoot. I think when we were out, when we're out shooting, that's when you meet all the other people who are shooting. Perfect. Yeah. Like, it's hard, it's gonna be hard to find someone on the internet that kind of drives with you. So when, when you're out shooting video, you're meeting other people, and you're yeah. definitely gonna find. To make that into a more specific point, I would say that you should look up places that people like like to go and get video from, <laughs> like hot spots, I guess, for a city like Cary yeah. Park in Seattle, mm -hmm. or like you know, there's spots around Vegas that people always just take photos. Also, from. there's a lot of like people Facebook there. groups that you can probably join yeah. too that are like local face, yeah, local Facebook groups. Like that. Yeah. yeah, I don't I mean, know. We've told you guys before. We met Mike while we were shooting mm -hmm. out here True. in downtown. We were just shooting um, a first Friday film festival. Mike was just shooting for fun, and then he had a he had a similar camera and a light and audio setup. We're like, yo, what's that? And we kind of talked gear, and he played with our glide Very cam, true. and we exchanged phone numbers. And now he's like a part of our life. He lives yep. with us. And we all live together. Yep. Yeah, and it <laughs> all started because we saw each other with cameras and made that connection. So true. don't feel like or no. you, but you can meet people totally randomly too. Mm -hmm. I met Nick like just at some. I think we were at a party. <laughs> yeah, we were just at a party. Yeah. And you guys were talking. Wait, were you guys? Just started talking about yeah. It was just like it was just through a mutual friend that yeah. went to Las Vegas Academy yeah. uh, High School, and uh, yeah, we just started hanging out after that. And I've known this fool for like almost like four years, I think. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. Like you can build you can build so many relationships with just like through, through this hobby and this profession. It's really incredible. True story. So don't Louis, don't think that there aren't people out there that aren't shooting that you can shoot with. There is an ocean of people and so many friends mm -hmm. that that need to be made, you know? So go out there and shoot, and you will 100% meet someone while you're out there. I guarantee it. 100. 100. Great 100. question. All right, guys. So I'm going to go back to our video editor now, and I'm going to show you guys what we have so far for this vlog. And I'm so... You guys want to meet Elix? Hey, come here. Come here. This is Elix. This is Elix. This is Nick's dog. She is also a very good photographer. He's a poodle, yeah. <laughs> Nick, what does Elix shoot with? Shoot with? Shoot with, yeah. yeah. What does she shoot with? Film or digital? Oh, she shoots with the GoPro. Oh, she's loves format. She loves format. She loves format. Felix is awesome. Yeah, it's super cute. Say hi to the, say hi to the live stream. All right. <laughs> I don't want to, I'm going to say we're live streaming with the dog. Louis said that helps a lot. Awesome. I'm so glad, Louis. So. All right, our live stream's going great. Our, our friend Elix is in, in giving a really great talk about GoPros and how they're great for animals. <laughs> Live stream's going great. Our our friend Elix is in giving a really great talk about GoPros. I'm not gonna post that. <laughs> okay, let's get back to this, guys. All right. So I'll show you guys what I have so far. I'm gonna turn the volume. Let me know in the comments here if you guys have any questions and want me to stop. Um, let me know if the audio is weird, but I'm gonna see. I'm hoping that with this live stream and this great internet that this is going to play really smoothly. Yeah. Keem is heading out. Peace, Keem. Bye, Keem. Keem. Thanks for joining us. All right, let's do this. Hello and good morning, internet. Today is 11-11, and our friend Tim Johnson is coming to Vegas. Oh, yeah. Good morning, well. What's up, Keem? You ready to go pick up Tim? Yeah. Welcome to MSN Day. How's it going, dude? So good. Teach you how to make vlogs. Vlogception. Welcome to Vegas.
I love this montage. Alright, good afternoon. Isabel's back. And it's time for some yoga. <laughs> yoga is so good for you. Next, we're gonna hang out with Tim again tonight. See you guys, I recognize this guy. He was on our last vlog. Grant Anthony here is also a very popular hypnotist here in Vegas. I'd say the most popular. The most popular hypnotist in Vegas. Good looking. And? Have a nice big smile. <laughs> and the show is really, really dope. Tim, are you ready to get hypnotized? I'm so ready. Alright, you guys. Um, this part's a little, um, I have to say, probably NC17. There's um, Anthony Cools has a pretty uh, adult show. Yeah, pretty adult. It's very raunchy. It's very raunchy humor, <laughs> and uh, he hypnotizes people and makes them do things to chairs. So if you're not comfortable with that kind of thing, you probably should look away for this part, and I'll let you guys know when we're back. But it's really freaking funny because our t friend Tim got straight hypnotized, <laughs> and it was it was hilarious. It was so funny. You guys will really enjoy it. Okay, this is our, our this is pretty adult content. So just letting you guys know. What's your favorite? <laughs> So really quick, so um, Anthony hypnotizes Tim, and then whenever that Ring of Fire song comes on, it makes Tim think that his butt is on fire, and the <laughs> only way to soothe the pain is to to wipe his butt on the ground, and it's it just so funny. We were dying at the. He was definitely the star star of the show that night. Yeah, it was did. so funny. Tim took that and he made it his own. He wasn't even like embarrassed at all. He just jumped right into it. Yeah. Oh, all in. It was dope. Yeah. Me. He had a really great time. Tim's, Tim's just dope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's that's where I'm at right now, and that was yesterday, and now we have this today footage, and I'm going to show you guys how to bring a vlog to a close and prepare all the things that you need to do to post on the internet and answer any questions that you guys have. <laughs> so, this is going to be pretty fun. Do you guys have any questions so far? 
Let me see the art. Turn the art real quick. Just let me see this right now. Oh, cool. Sweet. Okay, yeah, so sorry about the, the audio. It sounds like very... Um, Oh, thin. Yeah, really thin. So I think we're we're gonna upgrade our, our camera and our audio equipment soon, so we can have a much more smoother, engaging live stream experience. It's gonna be way better. All right. Um, let's see. Any questions? Uh, Louis talking about how do you guys deal with being asked to leave or stop filming? I was at a mall a few days ago shooting a hyperlapse. I made sure to not to attract attention, but I was told to leave because it didn't allow any photos. And I told them you usually you can just be like, I'm shooting video. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. What's up? <laughs> oh, what do you say? What happens when people tell you to stop filming? Like, what yeah. do you do? Yeah. I was saying we try and show them the photo and be like, yo, it's actually really cool. Is it okay if we get a couple more shots? Well, if that doesn't work, then you just kind of dip. Yeah. Well, if they, they're asking you to stop taking, like, you know, video, it's just like, you just say, like, hey, I'm just taking 24 pictures a second. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mike's classic. <laughs> That's his go-to. <laughs> but, um, yeah, just, it's better to... Ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission. Yeah, and I'm you not encouraging. Just come in at a different time. Yeah, come back later. I'm not encouraging that you trespass or do anything illegal. But yeah, don't do that. You know, ask for forgiveness rather than asking for permission. That's, That's what people always say. You can just <laughs> interpret that however you want. <laughs> All right, Nitro Wolf is heading out. Peace, Nitro Wolf. Later, man. Thanks for joining Take us. Take care. All right, let's get to it. I'm gonna edit this uh, final part, you guys, and then show you guys how to wrap this. Please. Ask any questions if you need, because Will is here doing the chat box. Hey. Mike is able to ask questions too. So hey. back ask to editor. Editor. Jared Sheldon just got done filming a family reunion. Hey, hey. Jared! Hey. Yeah. Capture those memories. I gotta edit a family wedding pretty soon. So yeah, hey. Mr. Fruit Stick says, "Just curious, what kind of gigs are you doing at the moment, and how do you get into this sweet scene?" Huh. That's a good question. Well, the scene is pretty sweet. It know? is. Doing gigs. Dude. It's pretty sweet. Sometimes you, they can be kind of sour, though, when the yeah. clients are tough. But, but it is a sweet scene because, you know, we get to make videos on there. And play so with cameras and true. play on our laptops and take cool pictures and travel and yeah. explore. Very true. Yeah. I, I would get into it by making sure you have a demo reel. That's yeah. the first thing. You want to be seen as kind of like an expert, I guess. Mm -hmm. You want to have a demo reel, maybe a business card, a website. Mm -hmm. Some people, they feel more comfortable working with someone who's more of a company rather mm -hmm. than just a friend. The I website guess. is super crits because you can put all that into one area. Boom. Yep. You know? And Nick Mike, Purcell just did that. He Mike, just Mike was just talking. Purcell, hey! Mike was just talking about in the car the fact that Nick has a studio just makes it like so much more legit. It is. Check out yeah. this space, you guys. Welcome yes. to Nick Purcell's studio. Yeah. Gallery. That's Nick. <laughs> There's Nick. <laughs> Nevada Light Gallery. I'll drop the uh, yeah. Check it out. <laughs> Instagram down below. He's out here in downtown Las Vegas. Oh, that's true. Really beautiful. If you need some old school film, hit up Nevada Light Gallery. That's on, on the reel. Yeah, they have Polaroid film, pa the Pack Film Six Hundred, Spectra. Yeah, they have a really sweet dog. Yeah, they have a really dope dog, and her name is Elix, and she's a lot more fluffier than this usually, but she's very soft. <laughs> um, Northwest Film says, is it better to get a Phantom 3 standard that uses Wi-Fi for transferring video to your phone? No, just get the professional. Or Phantom 2 with FPV and GoPro. Just, Ooh, Phantom, Phantom 2 is classic. Phantom 2, yeah, but it's not very good. Yeah, yeah. It's not very good. Phantom 3 is so nice because you can start and stop the recording from yep. the air. Yep. You Change your camera so settings. Weird. It's just like next level. It hooks up with your phone. Yeah. yeah like it's, it's totally worth it. You don't even have to buy a monitor. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, just the uh, Phantom 2 is like, it's, it was out last year, but I feel like times have changed so much since then. You just invest the money, get a Phantom Professional, and you'll just be so happy with it. Yeah, you'll be so much happier. It just works so much better. So, um, and then Nike Fan 4444 says, are you guys involved in commercial aerial photography? Yeah. yeah. We, we use it as an add-on often to a lot of the packages. Mm -hmm. So it's like, say we're going to be filming a real estate video. We'll get it from the ground and then add an extra couple hours for the aerial stuff. Mm -hmm. Or if you're shooting a wedding, add a couple extra hours with the aerial. Yep. Music videos, yeah. promo videos, whatever. It's good to put it in your invoice as like a, a la carte item yep. or you know, they can like have it for this amount of hours. Because yep. when you're doing it, you're putting five thousand dollars in the air. So you just gotta like make sure that you can you can pay for your time. Accordingly yeah. Yes. Well too, yeah, you so. wanna pay for it. Yep. Yeah. And then should we watch a video for Matthew Savota? He has a uh, video he'd like us to watch. Sure. After this vlog for sure. Cool. After we edit the vlog, Matt. Cool. Northwest Film says I can't afford the better Phantom models. Save, save the money, dude. Save the save money. Up, yeah. Save the money. Don't it's save your problems. So yep. worth it. Don't even like. Don't feel like you have to buy it right now. Even though you have things that you want to shoot, save the money. Get the best one. You yeah. won't regret it. Because we have so many friends that have gotten Glycams that like that aren't like the the cheap version. The, it doesn't 
produce the same footage, you know, and it, yeah. you get what you pay for. Have you ever heard of uh, uh, bringing problems, I mean, bringing solutions, not problems? Like, that will bring you a lot more solutions yes. than problems. True yes, fact. 100%. Also, you may want to go, if you're feeling really ballsy, you can say that you have Arial ready to go and then get a gig that requires Arial and use have that the down payment yes. to yes. pay for the copter. Yes. That's another way to do it. That's it's a little hacks. bit more, you know, ballsy, a little more hack style, but it's possible. Yep. You got to just move the money around and make it happen. Don't. Yeah. I mean, if you can make a good video without Ariel, I'm pretty sure you can just do like, okay, Ariel, and still like on your first job and yeah. it'll still be amazing. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Nike fan says, do you have FA 333 exemption? No, our friend yeah. Anthony does though. He was just giving us all the details. So about does that. Justin. Justin has it too? Mm -hmm. Nice. Dope. Yeah. It's the way to go. Yeah. It's definitely the way to go. Go legit. I think it's going to re be required here in like, what, a couple weeks or something? A couple weeks? Yeah. Cool. Come on in November. We're going to get on that. Louis says, when do you know it's time to upgrade your camera and is it necessary to go for 4K upgrades? What's up, D? What Easy. up, D? <laughs> yeah, what up, Deandra? It's necessary to go for 4K upgrades nowadays. I would say that 4K is getting to the point where it's going to be required. But yeah. currently, our people aren't really asking for it, but I think they're going to start noticing the difference. Mm -hmm. Longevity, though, that's really what it is at this point as well, too. Like, yeah. if you're sh still shooting 1080p, which we are, you know, <laughs> but um, 4K is going to be a lot more adaptable into newer rigs and newer yep. formats. Yep. So it's like 4K is just sinking into the future because yep. yeah. probably within the next five years, it's going to be standard. Yeah. yeah, and plus we sometimes we look at our Inspire footage and we're like, this footage looks better than our footage from our DSLRs. Yeah, our our computer screens right now are what twenty eight eighty by eighteen hundred, which is bigger than ten eighty. So when we watch ten eighty on our computers, it's like it's like mm. really crappy. You don't even know how much more latitude like a four K image has than a ten eighty. Like you can get so much more to the shadows, yep. your blacks, like yep. everything like, looks better. Oh it's just way higher quality. Yeah. yeah. Plus, like two years down the line, if we try and use ten eighty footage in something like a it's going to be it's not garbage. Work. Mm -hmm. garbage. Yeah. So. Gar I mean, it'll still look like the shots, the cinematography will look good, but it's plan ahead. It's going to be straight plan ahead. Straight garbage. Okay. okay. Robbers JPEG. Oh, what's up, cute girl? We just followed you on uh, on Instagram. Yeah, your Rubik's awesome. your Rubik's cube skills are insane. Like the ten by tens, those are freaking crazy. Yeah, and I like <laughs> that you're that you're thinking about vlogging too. That's really dope. All right, shall we get back to the vlog? Let's get back to the vlog. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you guys. We just have to edit this last part right here, and I'm going to do some color correction. Show you guys how to wrap this. Get it ready for the internet, and ask any questions along the way because we'll have on the chat box. Ooh, rock in the C box. How's it going, yeah? Hey, Sam. That's what I'm doing here right now is let's try and let's do a transition from us saying goodbye to Tim to the daytime where we pick him up again. See you tomorrow, Tim! Hi, Sam. How's it going, man? I think I might just cut the audio. Ready to drink the coffee? Anything to drink the coffee. Hey, when's a happy hour for Mingo, dude? Uh, well, we don't open until 5. Oh, okay. Ready to drink the coffee? Oh, it's only it's four fifteen. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, so it's like right? five to seven. It feels, it feels like it's yeah, it feels <laughs> so late. Ooh, Louis. How's it going? Mike, this is a good question for you. If you had a red camera for a day, what would you do? What would you film? Oh, for a day. For a day. Do I have time to think about this? Like, like, do I like? Do I know I'm going to be getting a red on this day, or am I just getting it that day? Oh. I guess it really doesn't matter. <laughs> Um, short films. Short films yeah. slow mo. What yeah, do dope. Short, short films. Yeah. Do I have every accessory too? So yeah, I would say yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. If I had every accessory, I would make a really, really dope short film. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be so cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like yeah, I, 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 I like call all my actor friends, everyone I knew. I would just. I had this read for one day. day. Someone read a story. <laughs> right now. Dope. Yeah, we had it for Fourth of July. We we just shot fireworks in slow motion. <laughs> if you think about it, when you're shooting slow mo, it's like having even more time with the camera. It is. <laughs> you have so much footage to look at. Or after. Slow. Think about it. And I'd also invite my buddy Justin Yadab because he loves those cameras. <laughs> yeah, he loves those cameras. He just like he loves it more than I think his children. <laughs> don't tell. Don't tell anybody that. <laughs> Mike with the real fire. <laughs> Mike with the realness. Yeah, that's not true. My mom says we should make the movie with popcorn. Oh say. yeah, that was such a good idea. I totally remember that. Imagine popcorn kernels like popping open at like a thousand frames a second. Ooh, yeah. Be, I remember that. That was so, such a good idea. So cool. So, so cool. I think I'm going to get... Oh, they don't have Happy Hour today then for the what, Art Walk, right, Nick? Uh, they, they should. Okay. Because I want that fish and chips again real bad. All right, guys. Sorry, I'm posting a quick thing <laughs> on Snapchat. 
right, keep the questions on. coming. Yeah, in. keep asking, guys. We love helping you guys out and providing value and all that good stuff. Okay, let's get back to this edit. Back to the edit. So I'm just trying to get this end part with Tim saying goodbye, and I'm it's gonna be pretty. I'm gonna cut this audio because it's pretty loud. Yeah, good mic in this. I think people that have seen the earlier vlogs will appreciate that comment. <laughs> Which one? Where you're like, I'll try not to spill your coffee this time. <laughs> Hopefully. It's so funny how long it is, Logo. That's real large. Real large. Real large. Real large. <laughs> yeah. I'll try not to spill your coffee. Thank you, fam. What's our thoughts on Casey Neistat? I think it's great. I think okay. Casey Neistat is a G. Casey's yeah. awesome, dude. He's Definitely. like he's like pioneering in this new age of vlogging. You know, I never never thought I would see myself making videos about what we're doing. You know, it's crazy, but it's so much fun. And I think he's like. He's part of the next wave for sure. He is. He's changing the game. He's a content creator. He was given opportunities to do deals with HBO, but he's like, no, I want to stick on the internet so I can have that creative freedom. And yep. he's done so much for him. Yep. It gives him such a platform to launch Beam and all of his other stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. and inspires so many others to, to, to go out and, and live life. I feel like he's inspired so many people. So many people. He's, he's a cool guy. Yeah, he's great. Really cool guy. Well, Tim, did you have a good time in Vegas? A fantastic time in Vegas. Are we going to see you again soon? So it's actually probably gonna be sooner than later. It's probably a couple of weeks. It's actually probably gonna be sooner than later. Dude, the whole Mike, you definitely don't want the shot there, right? What? You just don't want the <laughs> <Yeah>. shot. <laughs> it's pretty that one's funny. really good. It's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. <laughs> we guys do. Whoa. Whoa. Dee, do you want that shot of Mike in there? <laughs> Alright, guys, we have clean. Let me grab that. Alright. Let's see my clips here. <laughs> Please have some of my fucking pizza. <laughs> Whoa, Mike with the cussing. What? I, oh, damn. Well, you know, it's, people go. are not trying to eat delicious <laughs> pizza. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, Mike is down. Hey, we'll give you some napkins. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so this is all just gonna be montage. I'm gonna take audio out of all. Of yeah. This. Yeah. My can in the beer. <laughs> yeah. Everyone from the vlog will know. Who says? The dog? Pizza Perry! Later, Will. Jump, 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 So what I'm gonna do here is take all the audio out because it's just just a bunch of nonsense. Oops, didn't want to do that. Okay, so we're gonna do is select all of it, right click on it, unlink it from the audio, and then take the audio down here and delete it. Bada bing, bada boom. And then see right here on this song right here, I have the music stuck down for the parts where we're talking. So when the audio ends, I'm gonna bring the audio back up here. Make a little space so you can see, see this better. I'm back up to zero. So we can definitely make this tighter. Louis says we should do a Santa video on Christmas this year, like we did on Halloween. <laughs> the beat dope. That's Remember a great idea. That's a great idea.
See that really harsh audio coming out? Like that? I'm gonna take an audio effect right here. Exponential fade. Pop that on there like that. Ah, uh, so much nicer. It doesn't hurt your ears to hear it. Always Apple S, you guys. So if you finally No, I know. I'll try not to steal your copy this time, dude. Well, dude, you have a good time in Vegas? Fantastic time in Vegas. Are we going to see you again soon? So sure. It's actually probably going to be soon. Dude, Hey, take care. I'll see you again. Yeah, nice to meet you. Probably going to be soon. Hey, guys. So the audio is a little bit early. Bring it back a little bit. Oh, it's actually probably gonna be soon. Yeah, I'm just like the science of the fast cuts guys you just got to keep going and like trimming the edges like the left side and the right side and just gives it that really fast really fast paced feel nice awesome okay we're trying to get that uh Las Vegas pick tonight? Yes, I am. Oh, hope you guys enjoyed that vlog. Tim, I hope you have fun in Vegas. Oh, I had a blast in Vegas. What's next? Well, so I'm about to board the airplane. Blast in Vegas. What's next? Well, so I'm about to board the airplane. Alec and Michaela are having... Look at Mike. Mike's going in. Alec and Michaela are having their couple's <laughs> show tonight. Did. I'm gonna go surprise them. Oh. They have no idea. They think I'm in Vegas until tomorrow. <laughs> See you guys next time. Please subscribe. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Troll of the century. Being a pass. <laughs> or is Isabella it's a pass? Westie. Westie. <laughs> so working on boats, Dad? Nice. Next time, please subscribe. I have a lot of backlog. That's pretty dead. Look at his setup. The scanner, like on top of the ray drive, plus the plus the beer. Nice. Footless gecko is watching this on his TV. That's right. We're in this. Wait, are we in? Inside your TV. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta like crowd the, yeah. the fish eye. Hey, Steven Lopez <laughs> has an off topic up. question. He wants to know if we attend local festivals like EDC. Yeah. Yeah, we've been to EDC before. That place is crazy. So much fun. It's actually really good for getting shots at, but it's also a really sick spot. Yes. If you look at their demo reel, so they wild. actually have some EDC stuff yeah. in there. Check it out. Indeed we do. Check it out. Indeed we do. Oh, right. well, we're broke double digits. We got 10 people in here now. What up? Well, what's what? up, 10 people? Welcome uh, to the Battle uh, Light uh, Gallery uh, with Nick Porcella and Elo. <laughs>
Wah, 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 wah. We need the club horn. Wait, wait, can you... <laughs> can we, uh... How do you add music to this thing? I wish you could, like, play... Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh, my God. I think I, we can play music. I got the horn. Here we go. In the house! I hope so you guys can hear that. We got the whole thing. Here we go, here we go, here we go, louder. Yeah! But the So sad. Nick is dying. <laughs> Alright, we're back. We're back with the plan of attack. Alright, guys, this is an end title. See you guys next time. Please subscribe. I don't really like this end song, how the song ends, so I'm trying to find a different part of it to have it coming on. Cool, Gabe. <laughs> I'm just telling them what I'm doing, okay? Cool, dude. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. That's what we wanted, that little sound. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, cool. It was already it's, it's, Yeah, this is like twi three times as fast as this stuff at home. Hey, Raymond Reed. Ooh, new high score, 11 people. What up? Ooh. Last time, our first one that Mike and I did, we had like... 20, right? Yeah, we had 20 at one point. That's so sick. Yeah. True story. True story. Right. It's a decent amount yeah. of peeps in there. <laughs> it's, it's, it's no Periscope view count of Nick Purcell, but it's close. Does Nick Purcell kill it on, per, on Periscope? Oh, man, I think he just straight kills every, everything he does. Too. I know that part. I'm in Vegas until tomorrow. See you guys next time. Peace. Here we go. Tomorrow. See you guys next time. Come on, music. Transition better. I'm Vegas until tomorrow. See you guys next time. Peace. The song really hits. Such galactic music. This is usually how we end it. Usually I'll have the end plate run for about an hour. 15, 15 seconds. And the whole video is 536. I think that's pretty good video length. Plus the ending, which is an hour. Yep. <laughs> so an hour, hour, five minutes and 36 seconds. End plate. All right, guys, let's check this. I'm going to um, add some quick color correction to this. And I was just work, just um, working on this yesterday. Will and I are making a vlog tutorial. And I'm, I was explaining how color correction on vlogs and standard footage doesn't have to be too extreme. It's just slight adjustments of the exposure and contrast and a little bit of highlights and shadows. And a little bit of saturation will go a long way. It's just like taking the dust off the top of the image. So I'm going to drop it on here. And... Get this going. Get this, this project wrapped up. A little more saturation on the shot of Tim. Copy. So what I'm, edit, I'm adjusting right here is the color temperature because on the first shot, my um, the skin tones are a little bit warm, so I'm just bringing it down. And I'm gonna copy this one. That's what's here. Robert Seaton popped in and said he loves our drum vids. What's up, Robert? Thank, Thank you. you so much, Robert. That's what's up, One Glove? <laughs> yeah, One Glove is now in here. One Glove in the house. That's I sick. love DJ One Glove. What's up, DJ One Glove? Right, let's, give, let's, give him a, let's, give, let's give him a shout. What's up, DJ One Glove? <laughs> hey, have you guys heard about Shana, Shadow Panda, baby? XO, XO, baby. <laughs> but just Shadow Panda. This Game's Shadow DJ Panda. name? Yeah. yeah, my DJ name that Mike made for me. No, I think actually... I need I'm actually DJ One Glove to teach me how to produce music. So if you can <laughs> come to US and teach me how to make some music and we can collab, I think that'd be pretty sick. Fly some drones, you know? That'd be pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to continue adding this color correction onto these clips. It's actually probably going to be soon. <laughs> says whoop whoop. <laughs> yeah, this color section I got going on here is looking pretty nice. I'm just going to copy and paste it across all of it. Oh, 
hope you guys enjoyed that All vlog. Right, Louis out of here. Peace, Louis. Bye, Louis. Thank Peace you so much. For, yeah, thanks for always joining us, man. It's super awesome to have you here, and we're so happy to teach you and have answer your questions and all that good stuff. I like that you guys tell us that you're leaving. I feel I feel like it's so nice that you're coming in and then letting us know when you're gonna yeah. go. That's so awesome. You're not just dipping out. Oh, we got 14 people live now. What's Hello, up, 14 Hello, everybody. People? Welcome up, to our up? live stream. Fun, yeah, and I'm learning some stuff, and this is great. We're so happy to have you guys here. Let's get back. I'm about to finish this vlog and show you guys the exporting workflow. Tim, I hope you have fun in Vegas. Oh, I had a blast in Vegas. What's next? Alec and Michaela are having their couple's bridal shower tonight. Look at Mike over here. <laughs> shower tonight? I'm going to go and surprise them. Oh! I have no idea. Mr. Fruit says, Stick says it's cool to see the coloring workflow. Awesome. Uh, yeah, let, let me know if you guys if you guys have any questions about the coloring. I think I'm in Vegas until tomorrow. <laughs> See you guys next time. Peace. Okay, so the shot right here, that's the skin tones are a little bit cold, so I'm gonna go into Lumetri color right here, take the temperature, and just make it a little bit warmer, so we're not so chilly looking. They think I'm in. Vegas. Don't want to look too chilly. I'll go two point eight on that, and this one is the same one. So I'm gonna go positive two point eight. Vegas. Oh, I had a blast in Vegas. What's next? Alec and Michaela are happy. Voila. And let's see this end shot, see if the audio comes in at the right time. Guys, next time, please subscribe. I love it. All right, guys. Let's watch this whole thing over. And oh, hold on real quick. Let me turn this camera around. All right, so I think we're uh, pretty wrapped on this. We have all the color on. Everything's lined up. Mike's, it's very important to take breaks when you're deep in editing. Logging <laughs> a lot of footage. Sit back and take a breather and chill out, you know. Check your, go, go from your laptop screen to your cell phone screen. <laughs> Helix. Helix screen to the little screen. Helix. 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 Come hang out with us. Come here, Helix. Hey, One Glove. Oh. Thanks for, thanks for uh, posting, like, posting up our video and tagging us. It's so awesome. Helix. Come here. Oh, oh, we, go. Go. we got a dog on set. We got a dog on set. Here we go. So dope. Okay, let's take a let's take a quick selfie of this dog. Vincent Kang, what's up? What's up, Vincent? Oh, sorry. what's up, Vincent? <laughs> Hope you're enjoying Malaysia. All right. Do we have a next live stream? Is going great. <laughs> and we got dogs on set. Dogs on set, and we're having a lot of fun. Yeah. Are you guys ready? I need a, I need a Snapchat here. Cool. All right, Nick Purcell is gonna get the Snapchat right now. Do we yes, set up or just chill, chill status? However you guys want. I think we should be just mad chill. Okay. I'm gonna call the couch. Just a big yo? Are you doing it? No, I'm doing a video. You guys gotta shut yourself out though. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you want, I can just Will. shoot you guys if you don't. Okay, cool. Start with Will. Yeah, Will, you gotta say something really good. Then go to Gabe. Okay, hit me with the action when you got it. Okay, three, two. Well, good. Okay. Yeah, what's up? Said the secrets. Oh, so funny. <laughs> so Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Alright, ready? We're getting a quick Snapchat for Nick. Some little Dutch in here. Yep. <laughs> okay, we should get a quick tour of the. Uh, after we get Snapchat, we'll get a quick tour of this box. Of Nick's place? Yeah, alright, cool. Yeah, it now it looks good. Man. Yeah, the lighting <laughs> looks dope. Alright, go ahead. Three, two, Bud Life. We out here, the Better Light Gallery. Sup? <laughs> <laughs> All right, spin it around. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna give you a quick tour around this place. All right. Excuse me, Will. Um, is it just so should we give them the full tour? Like you're just walking through the door. Yeah, we'll show you guys from the front. Uh, they're, they're just All right, guys. So this is downtown Las Vegas, and it's about to be sunset. I'll show you guys a quick sunset shot. All right, this is what it's like to walk into the studio. Welcome to Nevada Light Gallery. <laughs> this is Nick Purcell. What's up, guys? Owner, founder, CEO, <laughs> CFO. <laughs> LMAO. He's the chief. <laughs> we got Milky Way Pig here. We got Mount Charles. Red, Red, Red Rock. Rock. Red Rock. <laughs> Damn, that's a beautiful Another Red Rock. Rock. How many how many photos of each of these panoramic right, Nick? Approximately. This is not between uh, fourteen all the way up to thirty photos. It's good. Okay. Also, we've got a film section in the back. I can know a lot more about these film cameras than I would. But we've got an awesome selection of Polaroid, other films, 
all in cool glass. 600 film. We have, is this SX70? SX70 film. This is hack film that goes in this bad boy and also in the back of uh, some Polaroid, uh, what's it called? Polaroid backs on medium formats. Got some 600 cameras. Uh, this is Spectra. This thing's really sweet. Got another 600, another Spectra. And then they take photos like these ones. And this is Elix with hair. <laughs> Whoa. Shit. So that was the same one. dog. Yeah, it's the same dog. <laughs> More awesome photos. Look at that horizon line. It's so perfect. It's so pleasing to look at. That's your right. It's really clean. All right, Doug. Excellent. That's the tour, you guys. This is where we're, at. we're working today, and it's so awesome to be here. Thanks, Nick Purcell, for letting us join. Yes, thank you, Nick. Oh, we got a mic. Are we out? Are we out? No, we're not out. Yeah, almost. We're not done yet. We got. We got to show people how to do the exporting on the log. Get yeah, I know. So, I know. Wait, so they open at five? Yeah. 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 Oh, damn. I'm getting hungry, work. man. And then I gotta go uh, print some photos. Oh. Be excited. Stephen Lopez says thanks for the SoundCloud share. He has great taste in music. Thank you, Stephen. Hope to run you guys at EDC. Are well, you well, rolling down there? Let's start from the beginning. Are you rolling down there? The show. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have a replay. Right oh, we'll okay. replay one glove. Oh yeah, because your thing says closed right now. Yeah, yeah. Because like I don't want people. I was in the zone too. This is the deep edits. All right, guys. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna run through this video real quick. I'm gonna have Will and I'm gonna have Will watch it with me. I'm not sure if Mike wants to watch it. What? Do you want to watch the vlog and yeah, you, guys get, you guys can give me feedback on it? Yep. This is the, usually the process, <laughs> and then we'll get the export settings, prepare for the internet, and we'll get it done. Cool. So. Ask questions on the way. Will's on the chat box. We got it. Let's do Let's it. Let's watch this vid. Oh, it's done. Yeah. Yes, sir, Bob. All right, guys. Here we go. Hello and good morning, internet. Today is 11-11, and our friend Tim Johnson is coming to Vegas. Oh, good morning, well. What's up, Gabe? You ready to go pick up Tim? Yeah, welcome to Edmonton Bank. How's it going, dude? So good. Um, just you, just you talking? Yeah, because you know? it's like totally like doesn't make any sense. Yeah. You can't really... I feel that. Should we just cut it out? Yeah, what do you think, Mike? <laughs> About Will saying welcome. Hi, guys. Hi. What do you think? Hey, Will. What's up, Gabe? Are you ready to go pick up Tim? Yeah. Welcome to Edmonton Bank. Is it kind of weak? Yeah, I think it's kind of weak. It's funny because you guys are going to go do this. Maybe we should cut, should we cut, should we cut it out? It would cut off like 20. I think so. Okay, I'm done. I don't think it's like mad and boring from what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh my. Getting it cut. This is what it yeah, takes. This keep is, cutting it up. Yeah. When you when you have taking stuff, the babies and just. Yeah. Uh, when when you have <laughs> <laughs> when you have um, audio keyframes, you have to move everything back over. So I'm gonna delete these right here. Footless geckos asks, "Is that made on?" Yes, it is. It is made on. Indeed, it is. Matthew Sloboda, what hard drive would you recommend? We love. Do you have do you have a ray drive on you? On real quick, hard drives. This one, my yep. one too. Oh, they're the best. It's attached to my computer. They're rugged. Yeah, we all got them attached. They're rugged. <laughs> they're too. They're fast. Thunderbolt. Easy to carry around. Really nice. Designed by Neil Poulton. Neil, Neil Poulton really yeah. killed that design. Yeah, he really did. did. Great job. He really did. Oh, we got 60 people live right this now. This is awesome, guys. Woo! Welcome so, to Nick Purcell's art gallery. So awesome so to have you here. What's up? So where's the horn? No, 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 no! The dark galaxy. You still got that horn out, dude? Instant club horn. Here we go. Sorry, we have to Here we go. Up. Club horn. Yeah! yeah! We got 16 people here. Woo! Um, <laughs> okay, we're back in the game. <laughs> okay, so right now I'm deleting that clip of Will and rippling. God, the Chris is taking off. Bye. Bye. Okay, let's close it up a little bit here. James Leroy says, what is the worst piece of gear you have ever had the displeasure of using? What? The, the worst, worst piece, piece of, of gear, gear you've ever had the displeasure of using. I know. What is it? Well, I used this one glide cam. It was the weakest. The weakest? I'm sorry. It's the weakest shit. Uh, that's the only, <laughs> only, only adjective you can do to like, describe this. It was so bad. It had the no... The Flycam Nano or something, Yeah, right? Flycam Nano. Yeah, it's it has, like, like plastic. These, yeah, these crappy plastic weights on the bottom. And there's like, you can't adjust it from side 
to say. There's the no micro the adjustments. The fly cam nano yeah. does not get the seal of approval. Oh. Do not get the fly cam nano. <laughs> <laughs> Do not get the fly cam Invest in good gear. You guys will be so happy in the long Seriously. run. Seriously. You have to think of it as an investment. It is. It right. definitely is. Even if you don't have... What's up, take Mr. A loan. Logistics? <laughs> Mr. Logistics. What's up, Mr. Logistics? What up, son? Oh, we got that horn? Got that horn? Mr. Logistics in the house! Wait, 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 wait! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah! All right, let's get back to editing. Yeah, we're getting a little sidetracked here. How's it going, man? I think it's a little better without it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Back. I think Tim will mind. Um, should we put a little clarity thing over it and just like blur it out? You can try, see how easy it'd be. Okay, let's try this, guys, real quick. Why? Some, Tim some... wants the internet famous. Yeah, yeah. But does he want people to call him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's let's Justin pick. Film says, Glad I bought the Glide Cam. Yes, I'm Hell glad you yeah, did Justin. too, Justin. Great choice. Okay. It's a seriously color. good investment. Okay, how. Let's see, how should we do this? Basic correction. So we're going to take this mask right here. And just uh, turn right. down the clarity, right? Yep. Turn down for what? Turn sharpen. Down. I'll turn the sharpen down. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, what else we got? Mm, low contrast. <laughs> that doesn't work. What is? Do you think Tim is gonna? Mind? Tim's not gonna trip. Tim's not gonna mind. We'll leave it in there. <laughs> if you guys want to call Tim, call Tim. Yeah. Just kidding. Don't do that. So good. He's a cool guy. Yeah. He's really cool. Okay. Mr. Fruit Sticks. He's probably a Zard Inspire setup. You fellas on the X5. We're not on the X5 yet. We don't feel like it's the the, the, the value thing. of it, like the cost of it doesn't equate to what it does the, the change in the footage yeah i'm sure like if we saw it on a 4k monitor we'd be like holy crap this is freaking beautiful but the stuff that we see on the web it's all right i really like the low light but i think hasselblad and dji might make something as well yeah I don't know what they're new. <laughs> <laughs> Brazil turns around and holds his beard hasselblad, hey, hey, hasselblad. i like hasselblad <laughs> wish we had a cut to nick cam yeah nick so cam <laughs> <laughs> we probably I mean, could, huh? Multi for sure. Yeah, you need yeah, to yeah. have a swisher. That'd be so funny. <laughs> I would love that. It just weighs Easy in. Easy movies. Yeah. What, what program are we using to go live? Wirecast. We're using Wirecast. Yeah. And Johnson. Okay, so we're going to start from the beginning now. We took out that beginning clip of Will, and that took off a lot of time right, off the blog. And let's, let's do this. Hello and good morning, Internet. Today is 11 11, and our friend Tim Johnson is coming to Vegas. Okay. <laughs> How's it going, dude? Okay. So good. Hold on. Hey, Zach. 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 Have you already seen one? I've been working on a new project. I'm going to teach you how to make it a little bit soft. Which one? Uh, roll back. Right? When we're playing with yoga balls. Groceries, check! Oh, okay. Nice. Even more little corn. More and more. And satch. The rabbits. I don't Is it like tinted? Blue? Yeah. Blue purple. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not so much. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it matches much better. Yeah. This one, was, this one was very purple. If you guys look at it before, this one was way purple and dark. Weird. And this one's way green. Oh, we're I'm going to teach you how to make vlogs. Vlogception. Welcome to Vegas. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
sound bad. Or like dip the audio from the track. Dip the audio from the track. It's still way higher. <laughs> Because Tim Johnson's ready to get down and ready to get up and he's about to get down. Aris. 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 The beer is here. <laughs> oh, Aris is in the building. Oh, sorry. It's so weird. This guy's the best sample. Say again? Best sample. Yeah, always, dude. <laughs> all right, all right. Welcome to Vegas. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah, way better. That's way better, yeah. Welcome to Vegas. Are you going to turn up your audio on Yeah, that? I think it's pretty quiet. You can take out the E, put on the EQ. Are you about to head in right now? It's just like the one we've gone. Is that Johnny yeah, Cupcake? EQ on it. Uh, no. Radiation cake? Do it. No. No. I forgot what it's called. I'm going to go to edit. It's good to have a calendar today, though. Let's go to. Yeah, seriously. The traffic has been real. All you have to click the button. Click the button. The low, mid, one, mid, two, mid, three, mid, high. Okay. I never even got an email about it. I never even told you about it. I was thinking about showing up like super late today. And then I said, I'm fine. And like, this is the whole thing, but I'm going to tell you people to get back. A little bit. I mean, I sold the bill. And when you pull it up, yeah, you pull the little guys out. You hear it getting crushed. Mm -hmm. I want to turn the highs down even more. Yeah, and turn down the volume of the music too. Yeah, who taught you how to mix? Shout out, Panda. Just Brendan in the house. My boy Whale. Just Brendan, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. He says, finally, I'm seeing what what up? live. Hashtag yeah. Oh, let's get that horn up in here, dude. Yeah. What up? What's up, guys? Brendan, what up? What up? They still crack it up. That sounds pretty good. I think it's the freeway sound and just like the, yeah. the, the camera audio just not performing. I think the effect that was strong enough that people were just be like, whoa, cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Alright, here we go. Mr. Fruit Stick says, what cameras are we on? Um, right now we're using the This Sony. one is the, the Sony A6000. Yeah, we'll show you guys. We have it actually right. Here. Right here. This is our vlog. This is Gabe's vlogging setup. Yeah, I like this. Um, I wish it had a microphone so we can get better audio, but I like it how shoots it's, raw photos. It's so light and it's so easy to use, and it's just it's just the best. It's, like, it's very simple. And it's very got the Joby on the bottom. Yep. So we can use it to wrap it around posts to get the time lapses or to set them down. It's just like very multi-purpose. Yep. And very simple. And it's just so easy to use. In the right yeah, the daylight. The camera, you, or the backpack, you got the GoPro. Yeah, yeah, I have a GoPro Hero Session. That's one, that one's super fun to use because it's just so portable. It's so easy. I love it. So, yeah. Good That's question, it. Mr. Fruitstick. All right, Mr. we're Fruitstick back. Mr. Fruitstick coming with a hot question. We're back. We're back. We're back. <laughs> All right. So we're going to check out there. That's dope. Yeah, that was dope. Tim found 20. The story of this is that Tim was just cruising around the casino. He found 20 cents and he turned 20 cents into $10. Yeah, on a little ticket. It was yeah. crazy. That's He's so like, cool. I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something with this. And he put it in the right slot machine and it just boom. It was like 30, yeah. 38 consecutive spins. Yeah, he got hella free spins. Yeah. It was super awesome. It was banking. Yeah, he lost it all. Yeah, but he got a free bear. That was great. <laughs> DJ says, that's what I'm using when the crowd is pumped up in the club. The air horn, baby. <laughs> yeah. 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 One glove. One glove. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got 14 people up in this. Please. Awesome. So cool you guys are here. Uh, real quick, you guys. This is the coolest montage I've made in a long time. Alright, good afternoon. 
here. It's Will's back. And it's time for some yoga. Yoga laps. Yoga is so good for you. Next, we're going to hang out with Tim again tonight. Very strong. What up? So you guys might recognize this guy. He was our last vlog. And Anthony here is also a very popular hypnotist here in Vegas. I'd say the most popular. The most popular hypnotist in like, Vegas. And good looking. And? Have a nice big smile. <laughs> <laughs> and the show is really, really dope. Can we get the disco in rigging for the show? Yeah. Okay, you guys. All the 13 people watching, this is some adult content right here. So... If you're... It's not super adult. No it's one's just dirty. Naked, it's just dirty humor. It's dirty humor, so just be, just warn. Yeah, so don't, I don't just want clamor. you guys to get offended or anything. <laughs> okay, we're starting eating my... Tim's eating some Taiwanese nice. noodles before the show starts. Tim, are you ready to get hypnotized? Yeah, so ready. Are we going to see you again soon? It's so sweet. It's actually probably going to be soon. Yeah. Come on. Hope you guys enjoyed that vlog. Tim, I hope you have fun in Vegas. Oh, I had a blast in Vegas. What's next? Alec and Michaela are having their couple's bridal shower tonight. And I'm going to go and surprise them. Oh. They have no idea. They think I'm in Vegas until tomorrow. <laughs> see you guys next time. Please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> that was so sad. <laughs> Good. Yes, let's go. I hope all you guys at home who make vlogs have awesome little end screens like that to continue the funnel and keep people looking at your videos. Exactly. That end play oh, with yeah. annotations on YouTube has the biggest effect because after they're watching, it's like the credits at the end of a vid at, at the end of a movie. They can like, but it's like video credits so they can see it and be like, oh, I want to watch more of their stuff. And they kind of just, they continue along and that's how you funnel people into your channel. And Keep them just stuck in your content. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's good to put like previous episodes of the vlogs there as well as examples of what we actually do. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see. Okay, I'm going to show you guys export settings and all the types of things that I've prepared to post it on social media. And I'll show you guys how to do the ad copy and then a couple of social media strategy tips. And then we will call this a wrap. I think I can do that in probably 15 minutes. So, yeah. ready? And if you have any final questions, ask them now. Yeah, we got the chat box over here. 
We got Will answering the questions. Well, Will. We also have our bro Mike. Yep. He can answer any questions you guys got about film cameras. And, and we have Nick Purcell chilling over here. In the his house. Copying some stuff. Yep. Film. The Battle Light Gallery. Film life. Yep. Film life. All right, you guys. Let's get down with exporting. This is the best part because the video is finished. You feel so accomplished because it's done, and you're gonna get it ready so the world can see it. This is the best freaking part about making art is sharing it with others, and then getting the feedback and all that cool stuff. So yes. let's get down to business. Yes. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna get back into the editor here. And so much value. I hope so. I sure hope so. So we're here, and this little gray bar right here in CC, this is your work area bar. And to, to activate it, you go click on these three lines right next to sequence one, and check this work area bar spot, okay? And then after you do that, you have this little gray area, you have little carrot blue handles here, and then you can stretch them to the end. Dude. You did it. Oh, they are? Oh, yeah. Happy art is sorry, don't take my But, no, Oh, okay, cool. Well, I'm, I'm trying to get some food. Mike's getting snacks. All right, Mike, you want to say bye to the live stream? All right, I think I'm going to leave, guys, He's but it was great having me. Thank you guys. It's great being here. <laughs> He's Mike. We're He's happy to have you, Mike. Better. He's gonna go get some food. We're gonna. We're gonna, we're gonna <laughs> it's like this. right out. Just post out there. <laughs> That's right. dope. That's a dope shot, Nick. Oh, you here? Wait, show these yeah, guys. Yeah, show, show, show the live stream. Hey, if you guys want, you guys can follow at Nick Purcell. He's about to post his. He does dope incredible mess. film oh. photography and. At Nick Purcell. Oh, yes. Yeah. Check it out. <laughs> All right, let's wrap All this, guys. Right. Peace out, Mike. Here's your exit sound. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Mike, make the exit. You guys hear that sound? Snoop Dogg! My God! <laughs> I know my own fucking team. Oh, Dr. Drake! Nick Purcell! <laughs> 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 DJ Live up in here. <laughs> Shit up. <laughs> All right, let's get back to this. Goodbye, Mike. It's Goodbye. been fun. Um, you're not leaving, leaving, leaving yet. Yeah, so it's like a good box. Yeah, I'm not leaving. Right, cool. I'm just gonna move right down to the main. Cool. All right, cool. All right, All right guys. Out, let's get back focused. That was fun. <laughs> For sure. Okay, guys, so you get your work area bar, the render bar right here on top of the whole project. You're going to do Apple M, okay? And that's going to bring up your export settings. We always export H264, YouTube 1080p HD, and I'm going to name this vlog number 15. Okay? Uh, make sure all my settings and bitrate, everything is set and done. Later, Mike. Bye, Mike. And then yeah. not maximum render quality. One glove says thug Thank life. You. Thug life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Jared, so you guys are awesome. <laughs> Jared, you're awesome. You too. All right. The uh, Vincent said, when's the next live? Maybe a few days? Yeah. We haven't scheduled anything. When we have something to share and feel like you guys will benefit from it, we will live stream. Or think of a way to make content to share with you guys. Yeah, ask, uh, ask what they want to see. Next yeah, time. yeah, that's a great idea. What do you guys want to see? What do you guys want? What do you guys want to? What do you guys want to live stream about? Because Will and I have a lot of knowledge to share with you guys. Let us know, guys. Yeah, we'll live stream anything. Just yeah. tell, tell us what you want to see us live stream. What you would get the most value out of? Yep. How know. can we help you guys as filmmakers, as people, anything? We want to make it happen. Yes, yeah, so we have lot, lots, so much to share with you guys. All right. Yeah, it's like the, the workflow is like Jared so just got from a long day shooting. Awesome. Jared's coming back from making dope shots. All right. Sequence number one. Okay, guys, so what I like to do when I'm making the Instagram edit is to make a duplicate of this project here so I don't mess with any of this stuff right here. So I'm going to right click on it, click duplicate, okay? And then I'm going to just rename this Insta. And then double click it to bring it up here. And it's going to be the exact same project. And then right now, I'll think of what is the highlight of the video and then make a 15-second cut. So I'll take this playhead right here, okay, and then bring it to 15 seconds right here on the on the playhead position. Okay, 15, oh. 15 seconds, no more, no less. Okay, that's an Instagram, that's the maximum length for an Instagram video. So you're going to take this little carrot. Oh, no. 
bad. My bad. Here, hold on, guys. Let me bring it back. Zoom out. And then take Mr. Fruit Stick says your workflow is awesome to see. Thank you, Mr. Fruit Stick. Thank you, Fruit Stick. I appreciate that, man. Um, are you guys going to be chilling here for yeah. a little bit? Yeah. Is that cool? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to just close the door and I'm going to leave my dog in. Perfect. All right, cool. So, yeah. She's, uh, Felix, you're hanging with us. She's only attacked a few people, so. Are you guys just going to be just right at the. Uh, yeah, we're going to be just three doors down. Nice. All right, cool. cool. Three doors down. Hold up, man. If I call crazy, then you still call me Superman. <laughs> Pablo. Pablo XO13 says, you guys' blogs are great. Love them. Thank you. I'm interested in starting photography, but I don't know much about cameras. What do you recommend to start taking photos? Man. I would recommend your cell phone if you have one. Yeah, start with your cell start phone. Start working on composition. That's really what matters. Understanding yep. light, playing with composition. Yep. That'll get you on a strong path. Now you can get like a T3i, like a Rebel. Yep, yep. Canon That's Rebel. A really good starter camera. Anything where you can manually adjust. Ooh, 5D Mark IIs are $800. You can go full frame right off the bat. But if you're on a budget, the T2i is probably like three or four. Yeah. yeah, I think the T2i is actually three, four hundred dollars. Yeah. Just really something where you can control the ISO, the shutter yep. speed, manual settings, capture. manual settings, and interchangeable changeable lenses will add so much value to your production. You like it's okay. Come here. Here, come on. Come here. Come on, you like Come here. You got a dog in the building. We got a dog in the building. Come on. Next come on. Cool. You can hang out with us. It's all good. Nick will come back. All right. Let's get back to the edit. All right, so I'm going to take 50, uh, a 15 second render bar right here, and I'm going to make an Instagram video. So I'll usually ask Will, like, what was the best part of the video that we can use for the teaser? Yeah. Or I can just use the first. The first 15 seconds is always a really great intro. So let's see. Let's see how this looks. Hello and good morning, internet. Today is 11:11, and our friend Tim Johnson is coming to Vegas. Okay. How's it going, dude? So good. Hold on here. What do you think? Sorry, I couldn't see the dog in <laughs> Just the first 15 seconds. Did you think I should take something from the hypnotizing part? Uh. How's it going, dude? So good. Hold on here. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, yeah. I think it has like a. A little bit of a story to it, and mm -hmm. you get the reward with Tim showing up. Yeah. Okay. So. Friend Tim Johnson is coming to Vegas. Okay, so I'm going to take this. This is going to be our Instagram cut right here. Yes. Yes. It's okay. Okay, couple. Nick will be back in just a sec. Couple versus couple. So my girlfriend just jumped out of my place because the revenue was taking too long. <laughs> <laughs> Life's tough, couples versus couples. We know that feel. Yeah. Do you know about the Canon SL1? You see booze once here. No, I've never heard of the Canon SL1. Canon SL1. Let's do some quick Googling. I'm going to add a, for Instagram videos, it's nice to have like a head and a tail. So I used to put, I always put like a cross dissolve at the end of the video footage and an exponential fade at the end of the video. So it, cuts, so it ends really nice and then it starts really nice as well. And our friend Tim John. Our friend Tim Johnson is coming to Vegas. Okay, I'm going to actually go like this. Put an exponential fade right here. Crosses all. And our friend Tim Johnson. And our friend Tim Johnson is coming to Vegas. Okay. Okay, one second, guys. Got the playhead here. Oh no, oh my gosh. Sorry guys, I'm pretty new to CC, this is a little difficult right now. He likes. Alright, here we go. Pablo XO says, thanks guys, you're the best. Thank you, Pablo. Um, right. The Canon SL1 looks like a, yeah, it does look like a T3i. It looks like a pretty good starter camera. It looks like it got, it has 1080p video. 72060. Nice. It's got a crop ferret frame, a uh, crop factor uh, sensor. It's 500 bucks. I think yeah. you should. You probably want to just go with the T3i yeah. or T, T2i. It doesn't seem like it has very good like manual controls though. Yeah. It might be an issue. Yeah. Um, Vincent Pang says if we have a Nikon camera. Um, we have a D4S. 4DS, D4S. Which one is the one your dad gave you? Yeah, the D4S. I think it's the super fast shutter. We don't really use it though because it doesn't shoot video. Oh, it shoots 720, but. 
that's that's lower resolution than what we need. We have Nikon glass though. Nikon makes really really nice lenses. All right, guys, check out this Instagram video, and I'm gonna show you guys the export settings, and then show you guys how to get everything on the web. How's it? Our friend Tim Johnson is coming to Vegas. Okay. How's it going, dude? So good. Hey, cold out here. Hey, Jack. That's Jack. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna go Command M on the Instagram edit. Make sure it's on YouTube. 1080. We'll call this Instagram teaser. And then we're going to go maximum render quality because it's going to be viewed on multiple devices such as phones and iPads. And I'm going to add that to the queue. And bada bing, bada boom, we got the vlog number 15 and the teaser. I'm going to hit this render button. Get that going. Rendering. This is the best news. Minimize that. And then right now I'm going to, I already captured a thumbnail, which is very important for YouTube. And that's this shot of Tim. Hilarious. His <laughs> butt on fire. And Anthony shaking his hand. <laughs> it's going to be great. And then uh, after that, I will go here and find all the music again. Oh, hold on one second. Find all the music. Reveal in project. And I will open a simple note. One second, guys. And get my Facebook. What's up, Louie? Um, he wants to know if we use Sony Glass or an adapter with the A6000. Oh, We're using Sony Glass. The kit lens. Is what eight, is it? 18 to 55? 18 to 55? 16 to 50. 16 to 50. 3.5 to 5.6. Alright guys, so I'm going to take um, go through all the tracks right here and list them into a text document. And then once I have everything uploaded to YouTube, I can show, I can give credit to all the artists that contributed to this video with their music. Get all the songs in. Go. Do I have Gavin on the music? Let us know if you guys have any questions as we're doing this. Putting everything together. Probably 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Yeah, we're gonna. We're, I'm gonna get all this stuff ready for the web, and I'm gonna make some copy and tell you guys some Facebook tips, and then we can call this a wrap. You should export the teaser first. I really like this track. Alrighty. So, so question, Louie. Using headphones to check the audio while filming. We also record test clips. So that helps out. Yep. It's critical to have good audio. If you don't have good audio, it's like, what's the point? Yep. I agree. Alright, so I have all this stuff. Yeah. Louis has been with us like the whole time. I know, Louis, you're so awesome. I just want to give a big shout out to Louis and everyone else who's been watching us the whole time while we edit. Yeah. It's so cool. So cool. We're so happy to be delivering the knowledge and the value to you guys. So, yes. What's up? Yes. Thank you guys. Super happy to have you guys here. Killing it's really, it. really awesome. It's so fun for us to teach you guys stuff. <laughs> yeah, club horn. <laughs> so good. All right, cool. So I'm going to show you guys how, um, how I make the... The text, hold on, really quick, I'm going to show you the description for the video, and then I think we call it a wrap. Show you guys some Facebook strategy, and we will make make a really great vlog. Okay, let me go to YouTube real quick. Okay.
Jared Sheldon says that his song called Our Story by Kilobyte is a good song. Yeah, and I think Raymond also used it for his edit as well. Oh, what? Oh, if you guys haven't seen our new uh, 360 video with Anthony Cools, if Ooh. you guys saw our previous vlog, this is our newest our newest video right here. Here, give me a quick preview. I'll give you guys a quick preview. And if you guys haven't watched 360 videos, 360 videos on um, on YouTube yet, you can use WASD as your D-pad instead of using this pad right here or dragging and scrolling. So using WASD, you can pan around. I'm rendering, so it's not going to play very smooth. You can you can look anywhere. We're driving around with Andy and Cool's R8, and it was just so much fun. Yeah, it's not going to play very smoothly right now. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm going to take this title from our previous vlog. Put it here. Oh, we'll have to show them the cell site we got in here. Yeah. Sweet. There it is. I wonder if I can see it. Dude, I play. That's so good. Wow. That's so good. Good to know. Okay, so here we go. I have it all set up. This is this is usually my I for for Facebook, I always have like really, really simple and short status updates for when I post videos. No one, it doesn't really need to be a gigantic line of text for someone to want to watch it. So I always like to keep it really, really simple. And I'm going to tell you guys, okay, so what I like to do when I post on, I'm going to give you guys some pro tips and strategies that Will and I have learned in the past, I don't know. Four years, we found that um, Facebook and Google are not very friendly with each other. So we found that when you post a YouTube link to Facebook, it's never really well weighted on the news feed. So if you post a YouTube link versus posting the video straight to Facebook, it's not going to be as seen. It's not, not as many people are going to see it because Facebook does not promote YouTube links as much. Facebook really wants to become the next video hub and be the next YouTube. So when you upload videos directly to Facebook, it does incredibly well. And one thing that we really love about that feature about uploading to Facebook is autoplay. Autoplay is the game changer in video because people are scrolling down their news feed and then instantly the video is playing before they even hit the play button. So when you have that opportunity to capture someone's attention in the first however five, six seconds that they're watching it, it's so, like as a marketer, like it's so awesome. They're already watching your video without even watching it. So it's up to you to come up with a good, good first few clips that compel a viewer to watch. You want to give them something that hooks them in. Mm -hmm. And they see the first few clips and they're like, oh my, they keep watching it. It's so interesting yeah. and so vibrant or so, so fascinating to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're stuck on the video mm -hmm. and they start getting involved in it and really get engaged in it. Yep. Once they're really engaged in it, then it becomes something to watch all the way through. Yep. Yeah, just the autoplay uploading to Facebook is absolutely critical. And I know you're going to sacrifice some YouTube views, but I think if you're trying to build your brand and just get your content out there to have people see it, upload your video straight to Facebook. It's really, 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 really effective to getting eyes on it. It's We uploaded our D, the DJI Inspire summer video and that we also uploaded to YouTube. YouTube only had 2,100 views. And we uploaded it to Facebook. It got 90, 98 shares and over 5,000 views in the first day. And that was just because we uploaded to Facebook. People can... People don't have to leave to go to a different app. They don't have to go to a different website. They can watch straight from the app, and then they can comment and like on it right there and share it as well. It's really, really, really effective. And still, like you are losing a few views from YouTube, but people are still seeing your art, and that's the that's the end goal is for people to like see what you've created. It's not as important as having all your views in one spot. Okay. Um, the second thing, the second thing that I like to do when I post the video, um, I like to do it on. So I imagine, uh, a, not, I don't want to say typical, but like an average person wakes up in the morning, say set 6, 7 in the morning to go to work or to go to school. So in my head, I try to imagine when can I position my content so they will see it right when they open their Facebook or right when they look at their Instagram feed on the way to work, on the way to school, or as they're getting ready. 
So in the morning, I always post my videos in the morning and around 7 to 7.30 to 8. And I like, lately, I really like posting vlogs on Mondays because they do super well. It's that after the long, after long weekend, people are getting ready for another day of work. They want to check their social media to catch up with everyone. And then right there, right when they log on, they have an autoplay video. Boom, it's our vlog. And then they watch the whole thing. They have, it's like an entire week packed into a five, four to five minute video. Of course, they're going to want to experience it, especially if they're just brushing their teeth or, you know, getting, eating breakfast or whatever they're doing. Or I don't, I don't encourage watching videos in the car, but people are always on their phones in the car. So I'm not saying distract their driving, but <laughs> be responsible. All right. Um, I'm also trying to think other strategies. Um, I like to post a video without tagging anybody in the morning at 7 o'clock. And then when it hits like 11 lunchtime, when people are taking a lunch break, I like to tag Will, add the title to the video, and that will bring it back. It's like a comment, it's like a bump, and it bumps it back to the top of the news feed, and Will's network will see that he's been tagged in the video. And then the third tip that I like to share with you guys is called the comment bump. So after the video has had like 12 hours to kind of coast on its first initial post, people are commenting on it, <coughs> It's really cool to engage with the people that have commented on it. If you do it right away, it kind of defeats the purpose of the comment bump because if you do it right away, it brings it up right after you posted it. So if you, if you actually wait a while and then comment on it later, it'll bring the content and it makes it fresh again to all the viewers that have not seen it yet. So it'll, it'll say, usually in the newsfeed post, it'll be like, so-and-so commented on their own video. And then that, again, brings it back up to the edge and then people can see it right when they open their app and it's super effective, super, super effective. All right, and uh, we'll also post an Instagram video and a couple teaser links on our, on our business page, and it's just, that's how we do it. It's, it's slow, it's not the perfect way, but we found that it works really well, and we're slowly refining it every time we try it, and yeah, my mouth is dry from talking so much. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping mad knowledge. What's up, Mad Knowledge? Mm. Oops. Mad knowledge. knowledge for you guys. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, let's take this last minute to answer some questions. Okay, if Jared guys... has a question. Is there a keyboard shortcut in Premiere? Are you able to move your cursor at the beginning of the timeline? Yes. Yes, Jared. So when you're in the timeline, push up on the directional pad. Up and down will bring you back and forth from clips on the timeline. Yep. Yep. DJ One Glove is peacing out. There's a phantom gathering in Indonesia. Have fun. Get some dope shots. Yeah, DJ. Fly safe, man. We love having you here. Thank you for posting all of our stuff. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Jared also says that he loves when we post vlogs in the morning because he never has videos to watch in the morning. <laughs> Jared, awesome, oh, man. That's the, that's the strategy working right there. Jared, we're so happy, man. That's awesome. So, so happy for you guys. Let's see. Um, I guess we just have a couple more minutes on the rendering, and then we'll be posting it up. So... Last chance to get some questions in, guys. Thanks to everyone who's sticking around. We got ten viewers on board. What's up? Woo! Oh yeah. Hope All you guys, the viewers. Hope you guys had fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll start to abuse that button. <laughs> People love the button. They do. Why it wouldn't be so popular? All right. Cool. So I guess that's it. Arrow key. The directional pad, the one underneath your on the bottom right of your keyboard. Yeah, up and down. Up, down, left, right, you know, what you use to scroll around. All right, I think that's a wrap, you guys. It's been so fun. Indie Flair says, "Did you guys finish the new vlog edit?" Yeah, Kim, we did. It, uh, it's, uh, exporting it's exporting right, right now. now. It's looking real nice. It's got another like five minutes, so we're gonna upload it to YouTube. And should we stick around or should we cut it off? Yeah, I think we should. We should cut it. All right, cool. We showed the whole flow. If you guys don't know how to upload to YouTube, there's many tutorials online on how to do it. You click upload, keep your stuff unlisted. Oh, here, I'll I'll share my screen real quick. So when you upload to YouTube. You go into your page, click this upload button on this top right area here, okay? And then you're going to select your files to upload from your desktop or wherever you have the video located. You can keep it unlisted so you can add the titles, your annotations, your descriptions, all that stuff. Make sure all your details are filled out. Make sure you have all your social media ready to go so when you launch the video, there's no holes that are missing and anything that's out of place. Um, I think that's it. Cool. He's loving the Dope Shots group. Thank you so much, Mr. Fruitstick. Mr. Fruits. Yay. If you guys have any last questions, we're going to close this stream now. Final questions. Here we go. Hashtag five. Hashtag four. Hashtag three. 
Hashtag two. Hashtag are there any more questions? Last call for questions. One final question. Who's it going to be? One final question. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. And the winner for the last question of the night goes to... What are we eating for dinner? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't decided yet. Something healthy. All right, cool. It's been real, you guys. It's been so fun. Subscribe to us. Um, we'll, we'll put our Snapchats in the in the description box here. Uh, you guys should follow us on Snapchat. We'll follow you back. We love making new friends. All right, Emil gets the last question. Oh. Any recommendations for a lens upgrade? Whatever is sharper or best for you. If yeah. you have a wide, get a telephoto. If you got a telephoto, get a wide. Increase your arsenal so you have a nice range from... So you can, it's like a you paint, can shoot anything. Yes, it's like a painter in his paintbrush set. You want to be able to have the thick paintbrush, the thin one, just so you can make all the different kinds of art and capture all the different kind of shots. Yep. So you have a wide, get something that's, that's more telephoto and just increase your arsenal so you have every tool that you need yeah. to do the job. And then once you really get an arsenal built up, then you start to understand the small, very small differences between each lens. Mm -hmm. Like how a Leica bokeh looks different compared to like a Sony bokeh versus yep. a Zeiss bokeh. And just like the it's... colors of a lens that they produce, yep. or the contrast levels, each one is so unique that when you really dive into it, you can see the differences. Yep, I agree. And then like when you, you can just go from EF Canon glass to Canon L glass, there's such a difference in sharpness, yep. the build quality, functionality, everything is just... Have fun with lenses. That's the thing that will last the longest. It's yeah. Invest. If you have a lot of, like, you don't have very much money, put the money towards the lenses. That's what matters. Yes. You can have a really crappy camera body and really nice glass, and you will get better footage than if you had a really nice body and a really crappy lens. All right, you guys. Louis, thank you so much. Everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Just two guys, live stream. We're out. We're out. Thank you guys Peace. so much. See